Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Mmm. I can't wait. I can't wait. What are we doing today? What are we doing today? We are going to be opening how many packs? 190! Uh, for the purpose of building some standard Dekarujas, I have not yet opened up a whole bunch of packs in the M20s, so I'm very excited. 190! It's going to be so good. Um, but first, one of the things that we got to do is we have to finish our traditional corset draft that I had to stop playing on Tuesday. I had to stop playing on Tubes Day. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put on some of these extensions that we're going to be using today uh, and then we're gonna play a little bit I, I do need to know I do need to know one of the essential components of today's kickoff conversation is that one of the greatest video game soundtracks of all time 100% is toe jam and Earl Can we talk about that do 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 Oh, this deck was a fascinating little tickler, wasn't it? Oh, this was our aggro curve out green dar. Yeah. <laughs> Illustrious says now with added darts. Yeah, no, no, that's... For any of you who've never watched darts, that's, what, that's how they say it whenever someone hits 180. 180. So looking at this, we got a pair of bone splinters. Uh, we're using the feral invocation combat tricks to apply the pressure with some of our... Smaller folk. You know, th this Wolfkin Bond has been wholly unimpressive to me. I actually kind of want to cut this and just put in literally another Greenwood Sentinel. Just just be having more possibility of just getting some dorks on the board early to apply some pressure. But then we sort of curve out into some reasonable suite of three drops. Then we have this Murder in the Combat Tricks. Some damage, some value, some card draw, some value, some damage. Some destructoness. And look at this. Seraphic Soul and Vlem starting the day off great. With some gift erroneous. Or some of the other folks who have been here. First of all, Vlem, thanks for the fives. Seraphic Soul, thanks for what was it, two or three that you did. Uh, what wait has now subbed for 58 months in a row. That's too shy of five years. By the way, Monday, two things are happening. First, what the deck? Me versus Nox. One of us is going to be doing the enter the battlefield effects. Eight or more cards. Eight or more cards that have some sort of enter the battlefield trigger or ability. The other will be playing to exit the battlefield. Eight or more cards with death abilities or triggers. Just eight cards. They don't have to be unique. Just eight or more. Themes currently in chat. Submit those there. I guess like this. Second one is that we are having our first ever 100 month sub happening next week. Cat Burt 321 is, hit, is hitting the beautiful, the glorious 100 months. First 100 month sub on all the twatch. Botch. I have been streaming for a very long time. All right, looks like Hydro and I are boring. So the Slasher says jet lag. Getting better for you? Yeah, I woke up at 5 a.m. today. 5 a.m. was pretty good. I, I couldn't even make it to do last night's Mostly Walking. Apologies for that, by the way. Do I? I, I think I actually am just going to play the Sorcerer of the Fang, I think. I mean, my opponent is black-blue. Likely has some form of removal, some form of unsummon. There's T. Sully, another of our 99 month subscribers. Good to see you, T. Sully. By the way, again, I, I'm holding on to the Cloudkin Seer. Because I want Hydro. I want to be able to play a Dread Presence and then play a Swamp to be able to get one of these abilities to go off. Twisted Happy Nine.
I'm gonna swing with this this fine fellow. Play my sanitarium friend. Good to see you. Twisted Fifty One. Happy sub baby. Happy sub baby. God, I, I love waking up early in the morning. I love waking up early in the morning. I like this double block better because obviously the sanitarium skeleton can die. I think this is a relatively... I, I, I'm just rarely happy with playing an audacious thief and then just trading it away. Yeah, that's actually completely fine. I just love waking up early. I love, 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 love waking up early. It's so good. Here's the reason I love waking up early in the morning. L let's let's contrast this with waking up late. I wake up late. Oh shit. Oh wait, this has first strike, doesn't it? All right, I should stop talking about stuff. I'm always just so excited at the very start of the show because I have all the stuff I want to verbal about. <laughs> I'll screw the pooch. That actually might lose us the game, but that's fine. Ah, uh, excellent. Oh, this is some good bone crushing. Audacious Thief, we want to get out of there. Take that action. Oh my god, fresh potato coffee. What is up, fresh potato coffee? Or maybe it's fresh pot taco fi. Gift in five. To Army Keeper and Jordy True Ring Piece. Is he Tormer 77 and Vicious Fox? I am one manner mana away from just crushing it. Gain one life and draw a card. Probably better than playing these things, huh? Go ahead and spam this out. What is this card now? Never even heard of this thing. All right, well, we're, we're not dead immediately. Like, I really need to get my Howling Giant down. What does this thing do? Create some... Golems? Well, I would love to have had this down, but now I actually think that this is the better play. Um, if I had played Moldervine Reclamation, our, after the swing, our opponent could have just done nothing and then swung back for a billion damage. Whoa! Nox just raided us. Oh! I dedicate this enormous swollen howling giant to Professor Knox Live. It's gonna get countered. I dedicate that to you. Nothing looks like a true dedication to Professor Knox and an excellent card getting countered. <laughs> Fuck! All right, so we're gonna need some ways to myrtle the flappers. We have a plummet in here. I think this is probably gonna be better than the growth cycle. Hard Piercer Bow might actually be legitimately excellent here. A lot of flyers with one health in there. So if I if I click on this thing, I have 16 creatures. This is probably gonna be the one I cut. I think I wanna be fast here. Thanks for the host, Prof Nox. Prof Nox. On the play. That's good. That's good. Yeah. No! God. Um, I, I, I can explain myself. Um, you, you know how a lot of dialogue boxes have yes on the left and no on the right? I looked at it and my brain went, I want to keep that. Yes. And then I just hit the mulligan button. <laughs> oh, man. Fuck. All right, well, that helps. That's my dog. But dude, okay, so let, let, let's think about getting up late, right? You get up late. You go, oh, shit, I gotta get to work. Or maybe you're trying to force in a workout, right? 
before you get in. <gasps> run, run to work, run to work. Oh, run to the gym, run to the gym. You get done with the gym. You're like trying to work out extra fast. You take a shower, like go to work. Oh, you get through the work day. Your work days are long because you work hard, my friend. Get through that long, hard work day. I'm gonna swing in with the zero one intimidation. After your long, hard work day, you come home. You gotta make yourself dinner now. And maybe you can eke out one chore. I'm probably gonna feral invocation at the end of the turn, no matter what. You know, you, you try to eke out some final chore or something like that, but now you're tired. You've been doing stuff for like eight, nine hours. And then the idea of maybe starting a project, if you haven't gone to the gym, going to the gym. I mean, all that shit actually sounds kind of freaking exhausting. And I feel like at this point, if it's like 8 or 9 p.m., it's really easy to just fill it with nonsense BS time. Wastes and activities. Let me go ahead and put this onto this dog. Yeah. And I feel like this is where just like endless surfing of Reddit comes from. Or just grinding on some. Uh. Actually, do I want to cast this now? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, no, I want to do this like this. It, it's just so easy to get into that mode. Barony Vampire, whoo! So easy to get into that mode where you're just grinding from eight to nine to 10 to 11 to 12, just kind of playing the same games, doing the same stuff you always do, just filling the time. No Z. There's some really basic clicking mistakes that I am succumbing to today. But like when you when you wake up like at the crack of dawn, you know, like 5 a.m., it's suddenly way easier to go to the gym. Cause like you go, but you're not under like super time pressure. It's way easier. To, to be like, oh yeah, you know, I did want to work on that fun project that I wanted to do. You know, because I feel like everyone always has some skill or ambition or thing that they're working on. That's the whole reason for the 30-day project stuff that we run here at Zoday 9 TV. You know, may, maybe, hell, maybe you're interested in putting together some really cool outfit for... Or you want to get a new wardrobe. So you just wake up and you're like, okay, I'm awake. And now I'm just going to focus on doing that really fun, cool thing. Which I feel like gives you more cool, fun, positive energy. I think this is fine. It's more cool, fun, positive energy for when you're starting to get ready to go to work. Because now you're getting ready to go to work and you've, you've actually done a lot of awesome, sweet shit. This is not a good hand. That is a good hand. I want to chuck the, the Dread Presence, keep six. I feel like I'll put one Ferocious Pup on the bot. And I, I don't know why I feel so strongly about this, but I, I really feel like it. getting up in the morning feels like stolen time. Like, I've been up since five. I've done all sorts of fun shit. Conversation with people in Europe, in more east time zones. We're saving the swamps because the Dread Presence can turn those into nukes. This is actually good news because it means Hydro is a little bit behind on momentum. I'm not going to play this on turn 4, I'm going to wait till turn 5. I mean, I've done all sorts of stuff, and now I'm excited to do the show, 
And the way it feels is it doesn't feel like, oh man, if I get through the show, I hope I'll have enough energy to do X, Y, Z thing. I think I'm just going to go ahead and do this now. Bone Splinter's target. This creature, sacrifice this puppy. It feels like I get to do this, and this is the only focus. And when I'm done, I'm just going to eat, maybe watch one TV show, maybe one movie, and just go to bed. Do you wish to swing it? This is probably going to get unsummoned or something. That is a really weird bad play. That's really weird, because if you bounce this, it kills it. And now this is protected, so it can't be murdered, you know. That's great. Oh my god, Valiant T. A.K.A. Valiant Thor. Gifted 5. This could be Bone to Ash. Oh, that draws you a card. Nice. This is looking a little bit like an L. Valiant Thor just gifted to Trakmar, Rastface, Blue Haunter, Groovy Rasputin, Nectar of Death. Nectar of Death. Moat Piranha. Oh, interesting. You're going to start poking me in the face again? Nice. on a little bit and then just start swinging with everybody. I think swinging with the Thrashing Bronto Pal will be nice. I expect our opponent to do something like double block. Oh, I think we just got owned. I don't know the combat tricks well enough. Oh, okay. That's actually okay. I'm fine just doing a raw trade here. Okay, that actually just totally sucks. I just got owned then. My poor Bronto pal. Solar Slash is a random question, but what are your thoughts on El Drain before the big reveal? Anything you hope to see? I, I don't even know what that is that you're referring to. Now, keep in mind, I, I've been out of town for like six-ish weeks. So it's like, it's been some damn time. If this resolves and kills this, there's just, like, no way to lose this, but... Eldraine is apparently the new MTG expansion with fairies. Oh, fucking, that's awesome. Love this card. Um, I, I, I don't know anything about it. Holy shit, this fucking card is unreal. Jesus, this fucking card is ridiculous. So I think I gotta no block this and just take the damage. See maybe if there's a way to live. 
No, it looks like we're pretty dead. If I plummet this. Swing with this. So let's see if this this is one two three four five six seven eight. It's looking like death, but that's good because now we're gonna immediately play some standard. So we one two three four five six seven. I probably want to nuke one of these sweet burritos. Okay, at least we live. Hooray. Alright, we're dead. Great. Damn. Give me my prize. Claiming it. <laughs>